Garrett Cole would be his 25th start in the middle of his warm-up toss, his 13 and 6 record. Swing and a miss, pulled by him again. Swing and a miss, strong hitting for Cole. Swing and a miss, got him with a 99 mile an hour fastball. And that one is grounded up the middle and through for a base hit. Two runs will score. Moving to third is Judge. It's a two run single for Voigt, and the Yankees are up 2 0. I think back to that Atlanta Braves series where the Yankees swept two games against the Braves. They did such a good job hitting with two outs. Which is very, uh, very telling as Mayfield goes down on strike. Strikeout number four. Swing and a miss. He has not been able to catch up to Cole's fastball. And that's line in the right center field. That's a base hit. Odor will score easily. It's an RBI single for Gardner, and the Yankees are up three nothing. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number seven for Cole. Two two. Swing and a miss. He strikes out the side. Swing and a miss. Change up his ability to pitch with or without anything as he strikes out his sixth straight batter and he has a 10 strikeout game. And he blows another fastball right by him and Otani struck out three times tonight against Cole. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. 12 strikeouts in six innings for Garrett Cole. Swing and a miss. 100 miles an hour. Swing and a miss. 14th strikeout, 30th swing and a miss. He's never had that in his career. Swing and a miss. 15 strikeouts. That's an ace. Team's on a four game losing streak. Strikeout 15. Don't walk anybody. Turn a 3 1 lead over your bullpen. That's a big boy performance. Some really good hitters on the Angel team, and that one is driven into left field. Going back is Adele on the track, looking up. See ya. A home run for Judge, and the Yankees lead 4 to 1. Home run number 30 for Aaron Judge. Well, Aaron Judge has been a model of consistency all year long, but especially over the last couple of weeks, he has been a hot hitter. And the pitch. Grounded softly to short. Velasquez, and that'll do it. High drive into left center field on the run is Mullins on the track. Looking up. See ya. A home run for Stanton. And the Yankees take a 1 0 lead. That one is driven out to right field. Going back Santander. He'll make the catch. Tagging and scoring easily is Odor. So it's a sack fly for LeMahieu, and it's 2 0 X. Ground ball through for a base hit. Here's Santander charging. Here's the throw home. The play is not in time. Sliding in with the tying run is Tyler Wade. And moving to second on the throw, DJ LeMayu. It's 3 3. Grounded up the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Judge. Mullins comes up throwing. And the game is over. Yankees win 4 3. A walk off single by Stanton. And the Yankees get it done in 11 innings. Part of an emotional day filled with so many memories of the events from 20 years ago. Everyone in this place is standing. This is tough. Right now, Mets and Yankees players have come together near the home plate area and onto the field, similar to September 21st, 2001, when the Mets and Braves shook hands and shared hugs before the game. The Mets and Yankees are doing that as well. An incredible scene of unity between the two teams, the Mets and the Yankees, ahead of tonight's game. 45,000 hours of looking out there, you feel like every one of the 45,000 people 
had some kind of effect on 9-11. Somehow, some way, it feels like a 45,000 of the family here tonight. This is a magnificent sight, just a magnificent sight. The Mets and the Yankees will represent much more than their baseball teams. They'll represent the city and the sport and how much those two go hand in hand. He does have pop, but you got to hit better than 176. Hit in the air to left field and deep. Back goes McNeil on the track. He's at the wall. She's gone. Kyle Higashi Oka, the home run stroke on it. The Yankees take a 2 0 lead. Well, this inning will keep going for Brett Gardner. Swung on and hit in the air to deep right. Back goes Conforto on the track. At the wall. She's gone. Oh, let the Guardy party begin. And the Yankees take a 4 0 lead on two two run home runs by two guys who would be the least expected. Now the batter is Aaron Judge. Try to sneak a fastball by Judge. That's a dangerous proposition. Yankees and that's the problem trying to sneak a fastball by Mr. Aaron Judge Yankees need a jolt high fly ball to left is it gonna be enough back at the wall game tied his second home run of the game and this ties the game at seven there's the jolt yep the Yankees have two on with one out and Luke Voigt will pinch hit might be two weird hop good play out at second back the runner and Velasquez slides across as the Yankees regain the James McCann is due up a high pop this to right field there's judge judge is there he makes the catch ball game over Yankees win the Yankees win well he hit it to the moon 5-2 game Joey Gallo with his 33rd home run of the season. And the Yankees creep a little closer. If the Yankees are going to turn this thing around, and if they have another streak in them, that guy's going to be right in the middle of it. As Joan Cone used to say, the first sabermetrician I ever met, my mom used to keep score, and I talked about it often, he's due. The 2-1. Judge drives them in the air to deep right. That ball is gone! Aaron Judge drops the gavel. A three-run game-tying homer. It's 5-5. Five five. There is life on the Yankee bench. Another look. Up and in. And Judge just muscles that out. Sanchez rips that to left field. A base hit. Torres rounding third. That will do it. A much needed walk off win in the Bronx. As Sanchez ends it. And the Yankees win it in dramatic fashion. A 6 5 come from behind victory. High fly ball right field. There it goes. See ya. In an eye blink. A two run home run for Judge, and the Yankees jump out to a lead. That didn't take long. And there's Judge with his 34th home run of the year. He's on fire. 84 ribbies. He is a top five MVP candidate for sure. Next time up. 2 0. High fly ball, deep right field. Going back is Santander. See ya. A home run for Stanton. A two run blast. And the Yankees lead 4 0. Six straight games now. The Yankees have hit uh, multiple home runs. They're both, this is a changeup. Stayed up a bit. I don't even think Stanton really hit this one all that well. Might have got underneath it, but he doesn't have to get all of it to get it out, particularly in Camden Yards. On to the flag court. And the one two. Driven deep to left field. Fair ball, it's gone. It is gone. A long home run for Boyd as the Yanks go back to back and they lead 5 nothing.
Well, at this rate, the Oriole fans are going to think the Blue Jays are still in town. Oh, this one is crushed. Breaking ball just says a spinner. Right there for the taking. Voigt does not miss it. Watch him look as he hits it. It's coming right at you, folks. Like that. See ya. He's in the park. 6 1 Yankees. Boy, he came right in the door and got on the dance floor. That's right. That's his ninth with the Yankees and his 34th home run overall. Strike up the band. First game of this three game set. And that one is ripped down the left field line. See ya. Five home runs. And it's 7 1 Yankees. Boy, do they love Camden going yards. No visiting team has hit more home runs at Camden Yards than the New York Yankees. 379 of them now since Camden Yards is open. Two pitches up and in. One down the middle. And one into the seats. Swing and a miss and that will. High fly. Deep left field going back McKenna turning looking see ya a two run home run for Urshela and it's two nothing Yankees. The one one. Runner goes throw to third. He's in there. Wade steals third base and going in behind him is Torres at second. And that erases any chance at a double play and forces the Orioles to bring the infield in. Slides to the far side of the bag. And they do not overturn it. Popped up. Is that going to find grass? Yes, it does. It's a base hit. One run scores. Here comes Torres. He'll score. A bloop. Two run single for Brett Gardner. Oh, did the Yankees need that? And they lead four to three. 4-3. The Red Sox have won. The Blue Jays have won. The Yankees want to nail this down. First pitch popped up. And Rochella makes the play. One pitch, one out. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. On the splitter. One out to go. Swing and a miss, got him. The throw to first, put out 2-3, and the Yankees win 4-3, and in a season that's been a roller coaster ride, this game is a microcosm of the season. Up, down, up again, and they get a much-needed victory, 4-3 over the Orioles. They've won three in a row. Yankees are feeling a lot, of better, a lot better about their trip to Baltimore. That one's drilled deep to right field. There it goes. See ya. A bullet into the second deck. Another home run for Gallo. one nothing Yanks. High fastball, and Joey Gallo stays on top of it. A lot of times hitters you see this day and age get under that ball. Straw back, turning, looking, see it into the Yankee bullpen. Judge goes the other way, and the Yankees have a 2 0 lead. The ball's supposed to be away, and it just leaked out outer half, but Aaron Judge is so strong. I mean, no doubt about it, from right off the bat. Uh, you just you can't have a wave without a lot of people in the ballpark was my point driven deep to right field there it goes see ya a bullet three run home run for Gardner the tack on inning works it is six nothing Yankees oh, fastball right there no doubt about it I mean kind of the hitters delight.
I don't know. Uh, I'd be hesitant to take him. Yeah, might as well let him finish unless, unless he's on a pitch count. And there it goes, Michael. I'm sorry. I spilled your thunder. <laughs> You know what, Michael? I would have quit talking and let you have it. But you know, when Stanton hits them, they get in the seat so quick that you don't have time to adjust. High drive, center field. Straw back, turning, looking. See ya! Another home run for Joey Gallo. Making it a habit. It's 8 0 Yanks. Back to back. Lucas Litke trying to close it out. And he does. Chang strikes out. And the Yankees win 8 0 to start this three game set against the Indians. Turner and Brian Cashman have talked about that process they put together. That one's drilled deep to left field. See it. Into the seats. A home run for Sanchez. 1 0 Yanks. Lined into left center field. That is a base hit in front of Tavares. LeMayu is coming home the throw way over everybody. Yankees lead 2 0 as the runners move up. Tavares has one of the strongest arms in baseball. That was a bad throw. Line drive, a base hit to right field. Charging is Garcia. Here comes Judge. And the throw is going to come in the second. It's an RBI single for Torres, and it's 4 0 Yankees. As Chapman tries to pick up his 28th save. Waved at that pitch in the dirt. Throw to first. Strikeout. Put out 2 3. So Jonah Heim 0 for 4 with four strikeouts tonight. One away here in the ninth. It's another slider right over the top of it is Heim. And the pitch. Rounded to third. LeMayu gobbles it up across the diamond. They just get Culberson hustling down the line. Deals the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Got him. And the stare is back as the Yankees win this one 4 to 3 to start off this three game set with a victory. It's a good pickup, Michael. It's been a while since we've seen Chapman with that reaction at the end of the game. That one is ripped down the left field line. It is a bullet home run by Stanton. Oh my, a line drive right down the line inside the pole. And the Yankees lead 2 0. I moved everybody was in that night. There's a base hit to left field. Rochelle around third. They're going to send him home. And Calhoun, his throw was cut off. It's an RBI single for Rizzo, and the Yankees lead three to one. High drive, right center field. There it goes. See ya. A three-run home run for Judge. A bomb through the raindrops, and it's seven-one Yankees. Number 99 has had one heck of a year. And when does 707 days feel like an eternity? When you're a big time big league pitcher and you have not been able to get on the mound because of injuries. Swing and a miss. A nice start to his return as he strikes out Trevino. Circle change grip turns it over. That works down and in. Rounded to first, Rizzo flips to Severino, two away. One, two. Swing and a miss. Welcome back, Luis Severino. And how many pitches they could get him up to. As Ibanez swings at the first pitch, right out to Florial, who hardly had to move. One pitch, one out here in the ninth. Chop left side. LeMahieu takes the out at first for the second out as Garcia advances to second. Popped up, shallow left. Gardner makes the play, and that will do it as the Yankees win 7 1. Severino is back with two scoreless innings, and the Yankees have won two straight against the Rangers, and that guy just has to feel like a million bucks. 
That one is ripped into left center field. Peters is on the run. He can't get there. It'll go to the wall. Torres scores. Urshel is being waved home. The relay is bobbled. He'll score. It's a two-run double for Higashioka. The Yankees on the board. It's 3-2 Texas. Two outs, bases loaded. And that one gets away from Trevino. Here comes Judge. He'll score. Stanton rounds third. He'll stop right there. Boy, did that kick away. There was the first baseman low who had to retrieve it. And the game is tied at three. Line to right field. That is going to be a base hit. It'll go into the corner. Gallo will score. Torres goes to second with a humongous RBI double. And the Yankees lead four to three. Trading places with Joey Gallo. Different style of double on this one. We got a bloop double. Now we get a line drive lashing double. And the Yankees have the lead. Soft ground ball. Gonna be a tough play and it booted. And here comes Torres. Here's the throw. Torres is safe. He's safe ahead of the tag by Trevino. And the Yankees lead five to three. A good base running from Flavor Torres. And an even better slide. High drive, deep center. Peters back. Track. Wall. See ya. A two-run home run for Sanchez. The Yankees wake up in the eighth inning. And they're leading seven to three. Sanchez comes off the bench and contributes mightily with a great throw to nab a base runner, and now this home run. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it. The stare, the win, the sweep, and the Yankees come alive in the eighth inning and beat the Rangers 7-3 and sweep Texas, and now head out on the road, a road trip that might decide their Is this season. a wild card preview? Even the pitching matchup, potentially, on down the road? We'll see. And Yankees got to win with Cole. That one is drilled to left center field. That's going to be in the gap and up against the wall. Scoring easily is LeMayu. Rizzo's going to be held at third. Hits an RBI double for Judge. And the Yankees lead 1-0. And there's a base hit to center field. Judge scores. It's another big hit for Glaber Torres. And the Yankees lead 3-0 move for more of a physical reason and a framing reason. The wear and tear on the knees. The 2-2. High fly ball, right center field. Gonna be trouble, that ball is gone! A three-run home run into the Red Sox bullpen. Stanton goes the other way, and the Yankees lead 6-0. Battled some right triceps inflammation this year as well. That was in late July. Popped up. Middle of the diamond. Who's going to take it? And it drops. No one takes it. As Gallo scores, Gardner moves to third. And the Yankees lead 7-0. And the crowd at Fenway has seen enough. They are booing the Boston Red Sox. Fly ball. Center field and deep. Going back, Hernandez. He's going to turn and play it off the wall. As Glaber Torres has himself a throw, he's going for three, and he is going to make it. No one was covering third base, and Hernandez took his time getting the ball in. That looked like a homer to me. They got They're going to check this. That ball went up in the stands. That jumped up there. Joe West at second base made the original call, but I, I think he missed it. Watch the fans. Yep, it's a home run. So it's a home run as Glaber Torres jogs the final 90 feet. A big home run for him. And the Yankees answer that three spot with one quickly here in the seventh. The chains of tenor. And then now it's 8-3 Yanks. And this should do it. Fly ball to Judge. He's there. And the Yankees win the first game of this showdown by a score of 8-3. Home run for Glaber Torres. A big three-run home run for Giancarlo Stanton. And uh, Cole gets the win, but most importantly, the Yankees get the win. They pulled to within one of the Red Sox, David, and two more games to go, and then six after that for the Yankees.
way outside, all the way to the backstop. And here comes Urshela. He scores. Yankees have a run. It's 2-1 Boston. Moving to third is Gardner. Not the first pitch you were looking for. As you see, he turns his wrist over and throws a slider. There's really nothing a catcher can do in that, that position. You try to get a glove on it. There's no way you can get your body. Now the that. Yankees do go to Luis Severino to face the bottom of the order. He pitched two innings on Tuesday against Texas. Did not allow a run. Swing and a miss. Dahl back down on strikes. Ground ball, third. There's one. That's all they'll get. Red Sox lead. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. On a changeup. A strong inning for Severino. Bases loaded. The pitch to Stanton. Swung on and drilled deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. Oh, what a shot by Stanton. And the Yankees have taken the lead. Five to two. He put it into orbit. I mean, wow, just wow. You talk about being ready to hit the minute you step in the box. Base is loaded. Pitcher's a little bit wild. Might throw a first pitch fastball. He does. And Stanton is all over it. Over the monster. Over the monster seats on the Lansdowne Street. No doubt about it. He now has taken the team lead with 91 ribbies. You think this team is pumped? 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Now, oh, by the way, Severino looks good. I want to get on the mound in a big moment again, and this is a big moment for Severino. High fly ball, left field. Gallo's back in front of the monster. He'll make the play. Swing and a miss. Martinez down on strike. Two scoreless innings for Luis Severino. Runner goes, 3-2. Grounded to third, grabbed by Urshela, across the diamond. The Yankees win 5-3 to three in a thriller on a Saturday night at Fenway. And the Yankees have taken the first two against the Red Sox, and they're now tied for the top spot in the wild card. What a game. Stars are going to shine. Certainly Stanton did. Nestor Cortez did his job, kept him in the game. Luis Severino, a big boost. A chopper for Arroyo. Gets double one play. himself, and there's the double play. A run does score. The Yankees have tied it at one apiece, but that's a trade that Erod will make any day. Sanchez, a runner at third with a run in. And LeMayhew flares the ball the other way. That's going to drive in the go-ahead run. Throw comes in wildly to first. Boston catches a break as it landed right at Vasquez. Man, that guy is a professional hitter right there. And of course, you can't review that play. And Judge cashes in, taking advantage of the second and third chances. Two-run score. The Yankees go back on top. For you fantasy league players out there. That's how it ends tonight. For the first time since 2015, the Yankees have swept a three game series at Fenway. They assume the outright lead in the American League wildcard race after a 6 to 3 victory tonight. Driven out to right field, going back, Hernandez turning, looking, see ya! Tie ball game. Judge goes the other way. His 37th home run of the year. The 0-2. Served into left field. That's going to be a base hit. Urshela is going to round third. He's coming home. Here's the throw. 
not in time. Urshela scores. A big base hit to tie the game by Anthony Rizzo. Not an earned run in the last 15 innings, but he's inheriting two right here. Allen is driven out to right field, and Teosco Hernandez makes the catch. Tagging and scoring easily is LeMayu. It's an RBI sack fly for Aaron Judge, and it's 3-2 Yankees. 2-2. Scoop to left field. Is it fair? If it's fair, it's gone. It is gone! A three-run home run for Stanton. He's done it again. And he breaks this one open as the Yankees lead 6-2. to two. Right back to Peralta. Sets. Fires. And the Yankees have won seven in a row. And the magic number to make the playoffs is down to three. And that man continues to rake. And you see the wild card standings. The Yankees now a two-game lead over the Red Sox. And uh, the Mariners have now tied the Blue Jays. So they are three back in the loss column from the Yankees and one from the Red Sox, who lost a very tough game to lose against Baltimore. Yeah. Allen is driven out to deep center field. Going back, Springer, turning, looking. See ya. Oh, what a shot by Judge. The Yankees lead 1-0. No doubt about it. And as big as it comes. Wow. I'm telling you what, I heard a grunt, and then 455 feet later, I heard a bang in the seats. I tell you what, Aaron Judge has been phenomenal. And I was just going to say how important the early innings are in a huge game. High fly ball, deep right field. Gritchick back. He's on the track. See ya. Tie game. A big home run for Rizzo. It's 250th of his career, and he probably just hit his biggest home run as a Yankee. 2-2. Two -two. Well, Anthony Rizzo had a 3-0 pitch earlier in the game and just missed it. Well, he didn't miss this one. His 21st of the year. Oh, it's off. Judge hits one to deep center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Aaron Judge as it is second home run of the game. It is a Judgean blast. And the Yankees have taken a 3-2 lead. All rise. Here comes the Judge. Boy, what a what a run he and Stanton are having. Two home runs for Judge tonight. This one, his 39th home run, his 97th RBI, and the Yankees, who have three hits in the game, have a 3-2 lead. And that not as long. That was only 441, not 446. Fly ball, left center field and deep. Turning and looking is Springer. See ya. Three home runs against the presumptive Cy Young Award winner. Yankees making a statement. And they are taking a big time lead here in the sixth inning. The long ball doing the job for the Yanks. High fly ball, deep right field, Gritchick back on the track at the wall. See ya! Home run for the veteran. Brett Gardner goes yard. Yankees lead 6-2. to two. And the 3-2. This should do it. Ground ball away. Across the diamond, and the Yankee magic number is two as they beat the Blue Jays 6-2. to two. They did some flexing north of the border with five home runs, and now they have a two-game lead over the Red Sox and Seattle as they settle in comfortably in the first wild-card spot. And the Blue Jays are going to have to have a lot of things go their way to get back into it. Serve to left field. Gallo is there. Gallo makes the play. Three shutout innings for Jamison Tyone. Go to the bottom of the third, nothing, nothing. Popped up. Gonna be a long run. Oh, what a play! And he goes into the dugout! Did he hold on? Yes, he did! Oh, what a play! Now I gotta see if he's okay. Urshela without any regard. 
for his health just came careening down the steps and made the play and held on and Boone so concerned ran across the field and into the Rays dugout. Oh. Oh, this doesn't look good. The entire Yankee team making its way over to the dugout to take a look. The courage to make that play, Kenny, without any regard wow. for your body. Wow. We'll take a look here as Gio approaches the dugout, gets it in the webbing of the glove, and then tumbles down the stairs. That's and running full speed. You're right, Michael. He slips going in and mm. then tumbles in like head first. And uh, they're still over there tending to him. And the way baseball is, Kenny, now yeah. one Ray tried to stop his fall whatsoever, and that's just the way the game is. Mm -hmm. But they ran to him right away after they saw that he was hurt. But there was no help there. Oh. I think he stumbled right as he fell. Well, the fact is he was moving full speed. And, you know, he had to keep the eye on the ball to make sure he could catch it, which he did. But then there was no time to stop. And you can see the concern on, on everybody there, uh, Rays and Yankees alike, and the fans behind the dugout. And he's up, and he will walk slowly to the Yankee dugout and get a big hand from the crowd. What a play in a huge moment for Gio Urshela. On it goes. Swung on and missed. He got him. Margot strikes out. And the Rays leave a runner at second base. 2 2. Line drive. Here comes Wade. Here's the throw. He's safe. And the Yankees walk off into the postseason. And what a long, strange trip it's been. The ebb and flow, the body punches, the great moments, the winning streaks, and it comes down to the bottom of the ninth inning. And Aaron Judge, who has helped carry this team, carries them into the playoffs. They are one of the wild card teams in the American League, just waiting to see where they'll play and who they will play. And Kenny, it had to end like this. Wow, unbelievable finish. Looked like Kittredge slowed it down. And that might have enabled uh, Wade to score. Ball is hit hard, goes out to get it, gets good wood on it. Ball is slowed down by the pitcher. That enables Wendell to come over. He makes a good throw. It's a little high, and Wade. What can you say? Too much speed. When you put him in the pinch run, he finds a way to score. 98th run batted in for Aaron Judge. And the Yankees pick up their 92nd win of the year. And this illustrious franchise, its 57th postseason appearance, five straight, 23 in the last 27 seasons. And this crowd that's had a love-hate relationship with this team, Kenny, they love them right now.